Network issues seem to be bugging a lot of iPhone users who've recently updated their devices to iOS 13. In the case of iPhone XR users, some have reported to be getting the no service error, which results in error in sending or receiving text messages, and making and receiving phone calls. Of course, they can also not be able to connect to the internet via cellular data. Hey guys, Harold here from TheCellGuy.com, and in this video, I will be showing you what to do if your iPhone XR has no service following the iOS 13 update. First solution, perform the forced restart on your iPhone. It is possible that the reason why your iPhone has no service is because it's having some minor firmware glitches. So the first thing you have to do is the forced restart. This will refresh your iPhone's memory and reload all its services. Most of the time, this procedure is enough to fix this issue. Here's how it's done. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then quickly press and release the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, Press and hold the side or power key until the Apple logo shows on the screen. Your iPhone will continue the usual boot process, so wait until the reboot is done. Once your device has finished restarting, try to see if the service is restored. Second solution, reset the network settings on your iPhone. This will fix any network related problems including cellular data and Wi-Fi. In fact, if this is just a temporary problem that occurs from time to time, this procedure should be able to fix it. Here's how it's done. From the home screen, tap Settings. Tap General. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Touch Reset Network Settings. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Reset Network Settings at the bottom of the screen. Your iPhone will reboot after this. Once it has finished rebooting, try to see if the problem is fixed. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. At this point, since your iPhone XR still has no service, you have no other choice but to reset your device. A reset will fix any app-related issues including this one. However, make sure to create a copy of your important files prior to the reset. When ready, follow these steps to reset your iPhone. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap erase all contents and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap erase iPhone again to proceed with the reset. After the reset, set up your iPhone as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.